Russia is facing an army of drones in Ukraine, an army that has been impossible to defeat as they continue to destroy the longest line of Russian tanks. Whether directly as in the case of loitering munitions, also known as kamikaze drones, or indirectly by fixed wing and rotary drones. In this video, we'll look at the main drones that are giving Russia something to worry about in the war with Ukraine, starting with the rotary drones. Rotary drones are usually the slowest drones, but what they lack in speed, they make up for in features, such as vertical takeoff and landing. This combo of weakness and strength makes them ideal for short-range missions. One rotary drone making a name for itself in Ukraine is the Golden Eagle. The Golden Eagle is an Israeli drone that provides tactical maneuvering forces with remote terrain dominance and pinpoint lethal capabilities. Capabilities the U.S. plans to share with Ukraine as they send the Golden Eagle to Ukraine to resist Russia. The Golden Eagle incorporates AI-based technology and the revolutionary Smash Dragon system that integrates a unique stabilization concept with proprietary target acquisition, tracking algorithms, and sophisticated computer vision capabilities that allow accurate hitting of static and moving targets with any of the drone's variety of rifles, snipers, and other munitions, which is more firepower than can be said of most fixed-wing drones. Fixed-wing drones are basically airplanes without cockpits and have been the most common type of drones used by militaries. They threaten to replace jets in a wide range of missions, from following enemy troop movements to tracking targets for artillery fire, missions they have more than proven capable of doing as displayed in Ukraine, starting with the RQ-4 Global Hawk. The RQ-4 Global Hawk is America's chief strategic reconnaissance drone. Once in the sky, it uses its long radar to scan the ground in photographic detail, day or night, regardless of cloud cover, which it can do for more than 34 hours, surveying more than 40,000 square miles in a single mission, a feat made possible by a combo of a powerful turbofanjet power plant and a 131-foot wingspan, which is wider than that of a Boeing 757 airliner. Regarding their role in Ukraine, aside from being a keen eye for NATO, hovering at 50,000 feet altitude near Ukraine for prolonged periods, suggest that they are scanning for Russian armor moving deep within the country. The Bayraktar TB2 is a drone manufactured in Turkey, but known around the world as one of the most effective combat drones ever, as it scored notable successes in conflicts against Syria and Libya. And when the people of Lithuania decided to gift Ukraine a gift to resist Russia, they called Military Santa, disguising as Lithuanian Defense Ministry, paid $5.4 million, which they raised in less than four days, and requested that none other than the Bayraktar TB2 be sent to Ukraine, where it could fly for more than 20 hours at a top speed of 100 miles per hour, using its four laser-guided MAM-L anti-tank missiles to take out Russian air defenses, fuel convoys, patrol boats, and even an oil storage facility across the Russian border. If one of the other tens of Bayraktar TB2 in Ukraine hadn't already done that, which it has, by the way. Built for Ukraine by Ukraine, the PD-1 People's Drone is a ready-to-fly solution whose standard list of equipment includes a gas-powered fixed-wing UAV EOIR camera system, data links, and a ground control station that combine to make a highly efficient tactical drone, which Ukraine lacked during Russia's 2014 annexation of Crimea. This drone, with catapult, runway, and vertical takeoff options, can stay in the air for up to eight hours with a six kilogram payload and is well suited for surveillance, aerial photography, agriculture, search and rescue, and public safety applications. Although Ukraine's forces use it mostly to direct artillery fire and to track the movement of Russian forces. The WB Fly-Eye from Poland is a hand-launched drone made by the Polish company WB Systems. It cruises at approximately 60 miles per hour for two and a half hours, but the drones cumulatively fly about 250 hours every day in Ukraine, as Ukraine has no shortage of them. In fact, Poland has supplied these drones to Ukraine since 2017, and now they play major roles in monitoring troop movements and directing artillery fire using a precise location system. 
With an easy setup and a silent lithium polymer battery powered electric power plant, this drone is launch ready in less than 10 minutes. The Vector drone is from German aerospace company Quantum Systems. The Vector is a highly automated drone that requires minimal training for its pilot. It can fly like a winged aircraft or in scorpion mode when it transforms into a helicopter capable of vertical takeoff and hovering, useful for maneuvering in tight urban spaces. And once in the sky, it can fly at over 25 miles per hour and spy for over two hours. Each Vector drone costs $200,000 which makes it all the more surprising that the drones are reportedly reaching Ukraine via anonymous benefactors. Another American drone making moves in Ukraine is the RQ-20 Puma. Made by Virginia-based defense contractor Aerovironment, the Puma is a small, hand-launched, battery-powered drone that boasts a 47-mile-per-hour top speed, a 20-kilometer range, over three hours of endurance, and the sophisticated Mantis I-45, a sensor package with both day and night vision cameras, as well as a thermal imager located on a gimbaled mount to provide a steady view of the ground. The I-45 also packs a laser illuminator that allows the drone operator to point out targets and other objects of interest to ground troops. The Puma drone already gained experience in wreaking havoc on targets in Iraq and Afghanistan, and now it's gaining even more experience in Ukraine. The Punisher drone from Ukraine is a low-cost tactical airstrike drone working overtime on home soil. With a flight time of 1 hour 30 minutes, this drone is tasked with taking out targets with a 75mm 4-pound bomb and with an accuracy of 12 feet. The drone is, however, adaptable and can be fitted with several other types of munitions, including high-explosive fragmentation bombs and anti-tank explosives. With a maximum range of 30 miles, the Punisher can strike targets behind enemy lines, including artillery, command centers, and air defenses. According to its manufacturer, UA Dynamics, the Punisher carried out at least 60 successful strikes early in the war, which is impressive for a drone that's required to hit targets and return to reload, unlike the incredibly lethal kamikaze loitering munitions. Loitering munitions. Loitering munitions are all out for glory, determined to take out targets even if they have to take out themselves in the process. Hence, the nickname, Kamikaze Drones. And one of the most successful of these is the Switchblade 300. The Switchblade 300, made by American company Aerovironment, is a small, silent munition that's fired from a compact launch tube. First used by US Special Forces in 2011, this six-pound half-drone, half-missile can be deployed from undercover and maintaining the cover of its operator as it emits no telltale blast, flame, or smoke trail. Once airborne, it unfolds its wings and propeller and cruises at 60 miles per hour, carrying a fragmentation warhead effective against soft-skinned vehicles and groups of personnel in Russian colors. A big brother to the Switchblade 300 in every way, the Switchblade 600 is a newer drone that was first used in 2021. The Switchblade 600 weighs six times more and thus carries a significantly more powerful warhead, similar to that on a Javelin anti-tank missile wielding large, armor-piercing charges, meaning this kamikaze drone can be used against a wide range of battlefield tanks, including its favorite, Russian main battle tanks that are anywhere within its 25-mile combat range. The Phoenix Ghost is probably the least known drone in this video, but that may be about to change if the drone proves decisive over the coming months in Ukraine. As the Pentagon recently announced that 121 units of the drone will be going to Ukraine, where they would wow troops with a warhead capable of destroying medium-armored ground targets after a fluid vertical takeoff and hunting for targets during its flight time that's expected to be around six hours. The WB Group Warmate drones operated in Ukraine are made by a teaming from Poland and Ukraine. Poland makes the aircraft, while Ukraine fits it with Ukrainian anti-tank or fragmentation warheads, depending on the mission. The drones are intended to be deployed from Ukraine's launch vehicles for use in hunter-killer teams partnered with surveillance drones. But this concept has not taken off yet. For now, the Ukrainian army fires them from ground launchers, which are less mobile and take more time to set up, but are still worth it, as with a range of 20 miles and a reusability feature that other kamikaze drones don't have, 
The WB Group Warmate is a weapon that won't give up until it takes out some Russian targets on an explosive date. Which is really the dream sight of any of the drones in this video, as they all push to prove that modern warfare may not be won by tanks and fighter jets, but by drones and you subscribing to this channel. So subscribe to this channel to prove these drones right. And give this video a thumbs up if you learned a thing or two. That would be all for now. Thanks for watching.